this mean? Why, Robert, I, I had meant to give it to you last night, but... Last night? Yes, when Gertrude sent it over, but you left in such a hurry. Oh, the, so this letter is intended for me? Of course. Uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> you didn't think, you couldn't possibly think that Harry and me were... The name, the, um, the address on the envelope is yours. She knew that when you left here, you would come to me at once. Obviously, well, it stands to reason. Oh, man, come on. It's true, Robert. I delivered it myself. You did. Did it? And you did. Certainly. <clears throat> As you all remember, Gertrude, after my rehearsals, I called in for tea. And when you mentioned the letter, I remarked that I was shortly to meet up with Lord Goring as we had an appointment to visit the new modern art exhibition at the Grosvenor, which, quite frankly, apart from two studies in Grey by Wister, was exceedingly forgettable. And that's exactly what Lord Goring then proceeded to do, namely forget it, before he even saw it. For you see, he never appeared. A fact which I find most upsetting, both on behalf of myself and Mr. Whistler, and we're both deciding whether or not to forgive him. In the meantime, I delivered the letter myself to your office this morning. And you know, the fact of the matter is, I still haven't had a word of apology. Um, sorry. I forgive you. Thank you. Is this true? When you left, my life, my life fell apart. I need you, after all. Your life fell apart, Gertrude. Yes. You, you need me, Gertrude? Why did you not say that you loved me? Oh, because I love you. <laughs> I, I do not care what, what punishment or disgrace is in store for me. This letter of yours, Gertrude, <laughs> makes me feel that nothing that the world can do can harm me now. There is no disgrace in store for you, nor any public shame. <laughs> We have much to thank him for, Robert. <laughs> when I finished my speech last night, I felt sure that my future was in ruins. Oh, when you began it, I wasn't so sure about my own. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. Arthur, I'm sure I'll think of something. 